What's smacking fam? It's your boy Balin and I'm back here today making a quick video on the new Kith and Coca-Cola collab. Pretty much I'm just gonna go through and show what I think is gonna be the best thing to buy and what I'm gonna buy and just give myself a little pre-review before I even cop anything or attempt to cop anything. So let's get this shit running. Before all that shit starts, I'm gonna show you exactly what I own from Kith. And it's not much, but I do have like four items, so it's pretty cool. Nothing expensive or anything like that, but I had the blessings to go to the Miami store with Giancarlo, and then I went with Spencer Blake, Chris Gilbert, and my boy Ben, fuck off, to New York, and that was fucking crazy. We went in there and we saw all that shit. But if you if you make it to Kith, you gotta you gotta check it out, like for real. Like they always have like a little as soon as you walk in, you see the Kith's Kith treats or whatever the fuck it is. And then you see like the vault of all the shoes and Kith's pretty cool. Like a lot of people ask me, like, what's Kith? What is it? I don't know, man. I really don't know what it stands for. I don't know much about it. All I know is the stores are set up awesome. They have like Yeezy apparel, other hype shit, other small brands, big brands, blah blah blah, all that shit. They put it they put it all into one store and then they also have their own Kith stuff. So jumping into my collection, this is the first thing I got. The Kith napkin. If you don't go to Kith, and get a fucking napkin, I don't even know if I can trust you. Like, for real. Kith napkins are the shit. Wipe your ass with them, blow your nose, whatever the fuck you want to do. But second is my Kith cup. Styrofoam double cup, you know what I mean? I actually got a couple more up there. Uh, I got a milkshake. I forget what I got. I think I just got some plain Jane, old vanilla shit. But you can get cereal, all types of stuff like that. I wanted the cereal bowl kit, but they are actually out. And then, bam, the mug. The mug is fucking crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I bought the pink one and resold it for like 60 bucks. They were like $15 a piece. The pink one's the hottest one, but I still got my red one. I'm keeping that shit. And last but not least, the Hype Beast Hydrate, the Kith Water. This shit is unreal. I've never opened it, but I've had a lot of offers when I take it to sneaker events, and a lot of kids actually want them. It's pretty fucking nuts. I can't believe like they'd go that fucking crazy over some goddamn water. You know what I mean? But all right, let's jump into this shit. First, we're starting off with the Kith and Coca-Cola Converse Chuck Taylors All 7. Sorry, I just hit my mic there, so it fucking made a little weird sound. But yeah, starting off with the Chuck Taylors, the All-Star 70s. Pretty much, I think they're hot as fuck. Check it out. Uh, the pictures of them look amazing. It's I'm pretty sure there's only a thousand pairs coming out. So my guess is 200 per store, New York, Miami, and then 600 online. Retail is supposedly $150, so that's pretty cheap for a pair of shoes. Like, I don't know what you guys spend on shoes, but I spend a hell of a lot of money on shoes. And I'm usually always paying resale prices, which sucks, but in the end, it's always worth the money because it's like an investment. You buy shoes, you keep your money. It's pretty much like putting your money in the bank. As long as you don't fuck them up, burn them, make them look like that, custom up there, anything like that, you're good. But yeah, uh, it comes with, I think it comes with a Yeti cooler it comes in a Yeti cooler so that's pretty sweet it comes with a coke bottle and a removable patch and the removable patch pops off and you can see the Chuck Taylor sign the whatever you fucking want to call it but yeah uh, that's my number one hit I think that's gonna be the hottest item of the whole drop besides the hoodies and other shit like that but I'll get into that in a second but yeah that's definitely number one and remember this comes out at 11 a.m. Eastern time so if you want some motherfucking kids you better be ready so all right second item let me just check it out real quick <clears throat> if you're a girl i would definitely be interested in buying that fucking onesie because that onesie bathing suit is fucking hot as fuck like you pull up to a party wearing that shit pool party man you got your supreme raft all that shit that's some fucking fire shit but besides that um i don't really know what else i'm gonna be going for probably the box logo hoodie if you haven't or actually the box crew neck the box crew neck looks fucking fire. It's like royal blue, navyish, and it's like got all over cherries. It's pretty hot. Check out the pig. But the embroidered Kith box logo, that would be my first Kith cop. Like, honestly, if you're not going for the shoes, I'd definitely go for the crew neck. I believe the crew neck and the blue shorts, those are definitely going to be number two on the hot list. Damn. I don't know what the fuck just fell, but something fell. And then the all white small Kith square. That, that'll be hot too because that's going to be that's like the matching part to the shoes so if you buy the shoes you probably should buy that white hoodie it's got coca-cola down the side it looks pretty crazy and then 
the next cop I would be going for, like I'm personally going for the shoes, the royal blue hoodie, or like the navy blue hoodie, and then I'm going for the red hoodie. And the red hoodie looks pretty fucking crazy. But besides the the navy, the navy crew neck, they're coming out with the gray crew neck and then the gray shorts with the all over cherries. The all over cherries, that's just fucking fire. In my opinion, A1, A plus, you get my rep. Uh, plus 10 for that shit. You can just show up to a party, swag the fuck out with some cool gray 11s or some shit like that. I don't even know what the fuck they're called, but you show up with some Jordans on, some silky smooth suede, and that gray suit. Damn, you're gonna be looking like Goli Guy Leo on the gram. I swear to God, that's like the ultimate flex. And I'm not gonna lie, the models they choose in here, like the ones they chose, bro, man, I think I could model this shit. I don't know, man. What do you think? Besides that, like I said, if you're a girl, go for the Kith cutoffs the kith bathing suit the onesie and all that shit okay scratch all that shit i lied i just scrolled over to the red all red hoodie it looks like triple red double red whatever the fuck you want to call it with the embroidered kith box logo and the all over cherries you can barely see the cherries but holy fucking shit that is what i'm going for first i don't give a fuck what it is fuck the shoes fuck the crew necks fuck the bathing suit fuck the towel we're going in for the goddamn double red kith embroidered all over cherry hoodie i think that shit's gonna be the number one hottest item on the whole drop seriously that thing is fucking amazing like pardon my motherfucking french but sheesh that thing is cold bruh i don't know how in the hell anyone would sleep on that it's like a supreme box logo and it's got all over like all over fucking cherries like man who wouldn't want a cherry on their fucking hoodie you know what i mean check out the pictures of that shit though that shit is fly and homie modeling it Man, I could have killed that pig. You already know. I would have been up there like, I'm white as fuck. Okay, the next one is um, the kid's smiley face Coca-Cola sign shirt. That's not that bad. It doesn't look that bad. In my opinion, I wouldn't buy it, but I don't know what the quality is going to be on this type of stuff. But it looks pretty cool. And then the North Face looking thing with the big Coca-Cola right here. Check it out. And the small mini kid logo. I think that's going to be a pretty hype item too. Depending on who you are, where you're wearing it, all that other shit. But it's not like the embroider hoodies. It's not like the box logo big or anything like that. But still, this collab is going to be amazing. In my opinion, this is probably one of the coolest Kith collabs I've done. Besides the Power Rangers. I missed out on the Power Rangers. I wasn't actually ready. Blah, 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 all that other shit. The t-shirts are really dope though. T-shirts look pretty quality. They have the big Enjoy Kith. And then the small Coca-Cola logo on the side. I love the white and red. I don't know why. I'm just a big fan of the white and red. But, <clears throat> I don't know how many times I say butt in my videos, but you can definitely comment them. You definitely know I like butts over boobies. You know what I mean? Butts over boobies all day long. <whistles> butts over boobies. But, holy shit. Damn, I said it again. All right, scratch that. I'm going back to actually what we're talking about in Kith. Um, pretty much, if you're trying to buy something, I would go for the shoes, both crew necks, the hoodie, and then the beach towel. The beach towel's fire. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm probably gonna hang the beach towel up over there because I need. I'm gonna start buying more and more accessories, making my room look a little bit better. Blah blah, blah all that other shit. I'm really trying to get four or five items off this drop. I'm not sure what I'll end up picking for my fifth item or my sixth. I'm just gonna buy some stuff, hopefully resell some of it, and then keep some of it for my personal wear. If they release that Kith freaking surfboard though, oh, whew. Kith surfboard, man, I would put that in my room. I'd take hype beast pictures with it. I'd try to break the internet all over again, cause that shit's just crazy. The t-shirts are pretty dope though, I'm not gonna lie. Just a simple, the blue one, the red one, and the white one. They're all pretty crazy, and I don't know if I'm going to be buying any of the shorts, but I think the shorts are going to be A1 quality. I think they're embroidered too, so that would be awesome. And I don't know why I'm not going for the shorts, because I have a lot of shorts already. I only wear like three pairs of shorts though, like I have like probably 50, and I only wear the same three outfits every single day, like once a week. Like, And then the gray kit box logo, crew neck, that's pretty hot too. I think that's going to be a number one. That's going to be a number one on most people's go-to list. And I don't really know like much about it, but I think that's like fire as fuck, if you ask me. Just real quick, before this video ends, I'm gonna show you my top three shoes like in my collection right now. I sold most of my collection once I got in trouble, but that's a whole different video. I'll be answering those questions eventually. 
And right now, my, my top three will definitely be the human races. Pharrell human races. Yellow boys. These are fucking fire as fuck. Uh, people be sleeping on these. I think this is the hottest Pharrell shoe he made. They're pretty crazy, honestly. This is definitely the hottest shoe. This is probably the best shoe I own right now in my possession. And then second would be my Zebras. I wear these all the fucking time. And the boost is still pretty crispy. Don't get me wrong. I beat, like I wear the fuck out of them. And I take the insoles out too, just in case I do go to sell them. Someone doesn't want the, the Adidas and the Yeezy Boost marked out or whatever the hell it says on the insoles. And then third would be my Coppers. These Coppers are fire. I'm actually trying to sell these right now just because they're a little big on me. They're 10 and a half and I wear like a nine and a half to 10. But check it out, they're still really clean. I don't know if it'll focus in there. Bam, yep, you'll see it. I guess it says Adidas Yeezy. Man, I've owned probably 50 pairs of V2s and I've never looked at that once. But these are super clean as well. But yeah, shout out to Kanye. Um, I'll be posting a new video coming up probably this weekend or Monday, so stay tuned. Subscribe, smash that like button like I smashed my ex. You already know.